James Madison rejected Looney Tunes. Why do people do this? Hey guys and welcome back. You've just seen it in the intro there. What the hell are these Tottenham Hotspur fans doing on social media? Ever since the sign of James Madison has been confirmed by the media, all of a sudden this level of arrogance has just came out of nowhere and there's loads of pop shots going towards Newcastle United fans shoot the fact that we as a club did in fact want James Madison. And that's the best way of starting this video off. I know some of you guys watch you know, I've seen it a lot on social media from Newcastle fans, people coming out and going, we don't care, we didn't want James Madison. I mean, let's not lie, we definitely did want James Madison. We put two official bids in for him last summer, they were rejected by Leicester. Despite us not putting an official bid in this summer, the interest was definitely still there. Northeast journalists were constantly talking about the sign. Some even reporting as far as James Madison wanted to move to Newcastle over Tottenham. We've seen how that one's turned out. But the interest has always been there, despite the sign of Sandra to Nord Newcastle, who still wanted James Madison. Tottenham have decided to go in with the bid, they've signed the player, and it is a class sign to be fair. It is definitely an upgrade in their team, someone that I think will fit Tottenham well. It just depends on whether Harry Kane stays or not. I mean, that's going to completely dictate the future of their clue. He's such a huge player. But here today, we react to these Tottenham fans, because as I said there, why are they so arrogant? Again, I don't know what's going on here. They're not Man City fans, you're not Arsenal fans, you're not Manchester United fans even. You're Tottenham Hotspur fans, what, what's going on? So yeah, I'm here to react to them. But anyway, guys, if you're new around here and you like what you watch, make sure I get down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well. Let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on this. Well, further ado, enough messing around. I'm here today at Lisa's Park, nice and early in the morning this well. I'm in a good mood so far. That is going to quickly change when I start looking at these comments. The time is 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm already triggered after watching that Twitter video by Connor. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just got such a big reaction out of me. So I'm going to just get through it first so I can get it out of my mind. Just get it flushed down the toilet as soon as possible. Now, thankfully, Connor has replied to a couple of comments on Twitter saying that it's a joke. Thank God it's a joke. I'd be more concerned if it wasn't a joke, to be honest. But listen, enough of me talking. Let's just show you the full video now. James Madison rejected Looney Tunes to join the mighty Tottenham. Didn't want to play with Botman. James Madison, our new Chris Erickson. He'll assist whatever weather. Gonna win trophies together. My favourite thing about this video is actually looking in the comments section. So somebody had replied to the post saying, Connor has never seen Tottenham win in his lifetime. Connor replied with saying, do I look like I'm 15 years old? <laughs> and then someone replied to that saying, no, but you look like you're attracted to 15 year olds. That is hilarious, by the way. That guy has mugged Connor off big time. I mean, the video was about 20 seconds long, but it's drawn such a big reaction out of me. I want to say so much about it. Let's start off with the dancing. What the hell is going on here? I mean, Connor looks to be of decent age. He looks old enough to have a family. Like, is this guy's kid's wife downstairs when he's dancing in the room with the strobe lights by himself? I, I don't know what's going on here. Is he living with his parents? Or are they downstairs when he's in the room? I, I don't know the context behind this one. And I mean, calm down, Connor. You've signed a player that doesn't like Tottenham Hospital. Look at James Madison's tweets here. I hope Luis Suarez destroys Tottenham. Don't like them, especially that monkey everyone is talking about. Now, obviously, he is all about Gareth Bale, I must say. He's not a racist. He's definitely not about Gareth Bale in that tweet. But you've signed a player that doesn't even like Tottenham Hospital. But as for the lyrics itself in that video, I mean, you're mentioning Sven Botman, but let's be brutally honest, Sven Botman is better than every defender Tottenham Hospital have. I mean, you're not in a position to talk about defenders, are you? Tottenham, you're going to leak goals in next season anyway. I've seen a lot of Tottenham fans ripping Newcastle and Aston Villa for some reason on social media and they've lost all four games them last season, so I don't know where this is coming from. But again, with the video, I mean, why? I, I don't get what the outcome is from this. I think he is wanting to get a big reaction from Newcastle fans and across social media, but is this really the reaction you want people taking the piss out of you? I mean, each to their own. I guess I, I can't speak because sometimes I do videos that will draw a big reaction and will get people taking piss out of me as well. But I wouldn't say I'm that bad, to be honest. But listen, Connor, uh, I wish him all the best. Obviously, for you guys watching, I know he's probably a little angry with the video. Some of you might be a bit pissed off by it. Just don't send them any hate. It's, again, he has said it's a joke, but it's not a great video, is it? Let's be honest. While we're staying on the topic of these short videos about James Madison, I went on TikTok before and I managed to get myself in a bit of this hole now that I can't seem to get out of. I watched this one here of a Leicester City fan. Reminds me, he's quite literally the Leicester City version of Carl the Dragon. He's playing in the back garden, scored a great volley there, by the way, and he's 
dancing, hoping that Newcastle gave Leicester three points to the stay in the Premier League. Now, thankfully, we didn't do that. They're relegated in James Madison. Yes, he went to Tottenham. I'm kind of glad now we didn't give this guy what he wanted because, I mean, again, why am I saying this? Guys, I have a confession to make. You can see in the background, things are different. For the first time ever in one of my YouTube videos, I actually went, you know what? I'm coming back tomorrow to continue this video. That's how triggered some of these Tottenham fans have managed to make me. So I've decided, screw it. We're coming back the next day and we're going to continue this video. I'm in a much better mood now. I'm excited, I'm ready, and I'm rearing to go. I do have one more thing I need to say, by the way. I'm actually doing a video tomorrow with Raw Flags because I spent a few hours with them today. And the 1st of July, they're already inside St James's Park sorting out the flag displays for next season in the Champions League. That is mental dedication. The Champions League is also something that Tottenham will not be experiencing next season, so cheers for that, lads. But back on topic, though, there will be a video about that tomorrow. Now, as for this guy next, Matt, taking a massive dig here towards your castle's midfield. How's the midfield for your Borella? Madison and Saboskai going to do next season. Ah, ha, 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 very funny. I, I don't really get this point, to be honest. Obviously, he's taking a dig at the fact that Castle will fail to land these transfer targets. But that's literally how transfer windows work. Manchester City, for example, where they put a bid in for Declan Rice. They didn't get him in the end. He wanted to join Arsenal. It's the same with any football team. No team on the planet will get all their transfer targets. I mean, how did Paolo Dybala do for Tottenham last season? Oh... Again, I don't really understand this point. Borella was very expensive. Madison's obviously picked Tottenham over Newcastle and Tobosky. Liverpool's activated his release close. I don't know what Newcastle's supposed to do in this situation. We've got Tonali, who's also a class sign. So I don't really get this point, to be honest. Um, okay, I guess. I don't understand this arrogance for the Tottenham fans. I mean, this was quite literally you guys a couple of months ago. Joe Linton, no, no pressure whatsoever. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're in again here. Eh? Newcastle are in again. They're in again. It's 5 0. We're 5 0 down in 20 minutes. I mean, fair enough to that guy, by the way. He seems like quite a decent lad. But that's how the Tottenham fans reacted a couple months ago. They couldn't believe what they were saying. 5 0 down after 20 minutes at St. Jim's Park. You guys were walking out of the stadium. You went back in the, on the train half an hour into the match. You guys got destroyed. We humiliated you. We humbled you. You left the ground after half an hour with your tails tucked between your legs and Tottenham fans now you've got James Madison all of a sudden this arrogance has come back out I mean based on what I mean what have you guys actually done what you won a league cup in 2008 oh um, I'm older than that what you had Harry Kane okay what have you done with Harry Kane you got to a Champions League final which you lost after 30 seconds because Sissoko handballed it what else did you do oh Mourinho took you to a Carabao Cup final you lost 1-0 at Manchester City I mean we did that last season lost to Manchester United so I, I don't know where this is coming from, I mean, it, it, you have someone Tottenham arguing about trophies. I mean, can we as football teams really argue about trophies? I don't think either of us can do that, to be honest. So, yeah, um, I'm just I'm, I'm a bit complex now, I'm a bit puzzled, I'm a bit confused why Tottenham fans are suddenly coming after Newcastle and Aston Villa. So, I mean, what Aston Villa do. So, for me to kind of come up with this video, I, I think Tottenham fans need to be stopped. I had a look at this, I don't know why they keep. I mean, what, what what have we done? What have I done? I'm just here making YouTube videos. Why am I getting slagged off from Tottenham fans? I mean, honestly, um, yes, for me, I did want James Madison. I think he is a good sign for Tottenham, but it's not the end of the world for Newcastle. I don't think it dictates Newcastle's window because we're not that team anymore. I think on the Mike Ashley, obviously, I don't think Madison let be a player Newcastle would have got under him. But it's a case when Newcastle would have one or two transfer targets and we don't get them. We'll just walk away completely from the entire window. So under this ownership now, we're going and get someone else. We've already signed Tonardi. Newcastle, I think, will still spend loads of money. I think we're still signing probably around five to six, including loan deals. And going into it next season, Champions League, we've got to try and push and potentially do well in that. But I think it'll be a case where Newcastle, it's going to take a couple of years. We're kicking away. It's one of these ones where we're still just adjusting from a takeover. And Newcastle will be in... 14 years in the, the crap for Mike Ashley, somebody I didn't care about this at all. Tottenham under that time have invested a lot, they've had a couple of good years, but again, they haven't won anything, unfortunately, for them. So it's, it's not really a case where a team like Liverpool, a team like United over the last few years, not had the greatest of times, but they still won so many trophies. Tottenham just haven't won those trophies, so I don't know how they can come out and pipe up because, I mean, yes, you've got to a couple of finals, yes, you've got all these players now, but you've done nothing with it, you haven't got any end product, you've won the Audi Cup, Newcastle won the Saudi Cup, I mean, what's the really difference? So I, it's a weird one, I don't get it. I honestly don't. Anyway, that was the topic of the video today. Tottenham fans need to be stopped. 
they talk a big game for a team that is playing in zero European competitions next season. A team that is clearly scared of the future of Newcastle, a team that is intimidated, insecure and worried for what this team can do going forward. Newcastle, we're ready, we can't wait to get into things and Tottenham's a team that still a bit uncertain with can keep Harry Kane, I still fancy it'll be a good team but I think they're screwed without him, that's a big one for them. But even with Harry Kane, they still need a few more signs than that. I think especially that back line, I'm not a fan of their back line to be honest. Uh, Lovies is obviously a big one to get rid of, but other than that, they still need to clear out the back four a bit and then we can focus next year. But for Newcastle, I'm here to focus on ourselves. We've had a fantastic season. I know for a fact that this team can push on and do better things. I know we can go again. And I know it's not a one season one. Then Newcastle, we are class. We will get what we need to get done. But in this case, for Tottenham fans, stop it. Just leave us alone. We'll leave you alone. I think Newcastle and Tottenham fans have been quite bitter over the James Madison saga. Tottenham for obviously their poor season and Newcastle due to the fact that Madison we, uh, we tried to sign him so it's, it's been a bit of bitterness from both sides I would say but for us we need to just relax get on our game I think Tottenham need to do the same so I thought I'd make this video kind of targeting the fan base because I don't know what the Tottenham fans are doing I mean why why are they coming after us for but anyway guys let me know your thoughts down below take care and I'll see you all in the next one